Uh, I'm Shana Hollick. I'm currently uh, the director of the Guthrie Memorial Library, which is a mid-sized public library in Hanover, Pennsylvania in the US. Uh, I also act as a learning and training consultant, uh, developing and teaching courses for library professionals, faculty, and other educators about copyright, open licensing, and OER. Uh, one of the main benefits of Open Glam to me is that Open access and sharing of cultural heritage gives us a chance to recognize the shared humanity in ourselves and others. It brings people together and it crosses political and sociocultural boundaries to help us all learn from one another and work together towards a better future. In my experience, there are kind of three key barriers to open glam, and those are time, money, and expertise. You know, many glam institutions are nonprofit institutions, and anyone who has worked in the nonprofit world knows that there's never quite enough time or quite enough people or quite enough funding to accomplish all the awesome things that we hope to accomplish, but we all do our best with the resources that we have. The expertise barrier is the one I personally am the most interested in since a big part of my job is educating people about how they can open up their own collections and use their resources to teach others. So luckily there are lots of training opportunities to help folks who are new to open culture learn more about what it is and how it works. Um, the Creative Commons certificate course, for example, uh, those are a really a great place to start. In 2022, uh, I had the immense privilege of attending and presenting at Tech Camp Morocco, which is an initiative by the US State Department that brings people together to work on common problems and help find solutions. And this particular Tech Camp was specifically about cultural heritage. And talking to the folks there really opened my eyes to the diverse reach of open glam and open culture. You know, there were people there from all different backgrounds working on all sorts of really cool projects. Uh, there were independent filmmakers and journalists and environmentalists and scientists and archaeologists. Uh, one of the groups there was especially interested in making detailed 3D maps of various cultural and archaeological sites and then using those maps and images to share stories with folks from around the world about those sites and their cultural and historical significance. And I think it's our ability to share our stories like that that really brings us together as people. And Open Glam gives us a way to share those stories openly and freely and then build upon them for future generations. Uh, my personal message for those who might be hesitating to open up their collections is simply to just give it a try. You know, it's absolutely okay to start small. Start with just one collection or one subset of a collection or even one specific type of material. Um, but don't be afraid to just dive in and learn along the way and start somewhere. Um, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good, for example. Um, give it a try, get started and see how it goes. And I think you'll very quickly realize that the benefits of opening up your collections far exceed the costs. <laughs>